Welcome. As Windows 11 is being rolled out, some advanced users may want to run both Windows 10 and Windows 11 on the same computer before completely moving on to Windows 11. In this tutorial, we will configure dual boot with Windows 10 and Windows 11. So we will be using a machine that has already been upgraded to Windows 11 Professional. However, this method will also work with other versions of Windows. For example, you can follow these steps to install dual boot on a computers that are already running Windows 10. You can also follow these steps to installing other versions of Windows for dual boot such as Windows 8 and Windows 7. As always, make sure you check your Windows updates so there are no pending updates or upgrades waiting to happen on your Windows 11 machine. In addition to the Windows updates, you must check for your driver updates for all your components before we proceed. It is important that you have installed all the critical drivers such as video, network card, chipset, touchpad, etc. and they are up to date and good to go. Otherwise, you may end up in technical issues after the dual boot install that may require further troubleshooting. Once you have done the prep work, Find an ISO file to create a bootable drive with the Windows 10 ISO. In this demonstration, I will not show you how to create the bootable drive because I assume you own a copy of Windows 10 or other version of Windows that is compatible with your hardware. If you would like to know how to make an ISO file, I'll make a video separately if it is needed. Uh, but at this time, I basically have created an ISO file and on my VM, I have loaded that ISO file to my DVD drive. Now, what we're gonna do is we will go into your start menu and we're gonna go run. And we're gonna open the run command. And in here, we're gonna type disk mgmt.msc. So D-I-S-K M-G-M-T dot M-S-C and click OK. This will open your disk management uh, software. And on the disk management uh, window, you will see all the uh, disk available uh, on your system. What we're gonna do right now, because uh, we're gonna do dual boot on the same hard drive, we're gonna find the C drive. And on here, the disk one has the C drive. Your C drive may have multiple partitions. The one you need to select is the one that it says C on it. So there are like, there are the EF uh, I system partition and there's also other recovery partitions. Don't touch any of those things. Just select the one that it says the C drive with the NTFS on it. On here, right click, select shrink volume it will open the shrink c uh, window now we have to decide how much of this c drive which is the main drive that is currently running windows 11 will be used to run windows 10 partition i have decided to go with uh, 4,500 megabytes. Um, sorry, 45,000 megabytes, which is about the half of the, just below half of the total uh, allocated, uh, half of the uh, hard drive space we have under C. Then I'm gonna click, click shrink, and it'll shrink that C drive uh, into two different uh, uh, partitions. On the alloc unallocated section, click on that. Uh, click on that section. Right click. Select new sample volume. And on the window, click next, next, uh, and next. And on here, I'm simply gonna name this as uh, Win 11, sorry, Win 10. 
and you can leave everything as default. Make sure the file system is NTFS and the allocation size, you can leave it as default. Make sure perform a quick format is checked and click next and hit finish. And that will create a second drive. So now if you close the disk management on your disk PC, you will have two drives. One is the C drive, the other one is the E drive. The E drive is still a part of the C drive, but it is partitioned into a new drive. And we have allocated about 40 gigabyte of space for it. And that will allow us to install Windows 10 on that drive. Now we have divided the hard drive into two partitions and we have the Windows 10 disk loaded onto our disk drive on the Windows 11 machine. What we're gonna do next is we're gonna uh, go into the installation environment. To do that, open your start menu, hold shift key. While you're holding the shift key, click power button and select restart. And then after this black screen comes up, let go of your shift key. This will load you into the installation environment. And in here, select the option called use a device, use a USB drive network connection or Windows recovery DVD. And on here, you need to select either EFI, uh, EFI USB drive or CD-ROM. In this demonstration, we are in a VM environment. I will select the CD-ROM drive where I have entered the, uh, the Windows 10 ISO file. And depending on your situation, you know, if it is a USB drive, it will be the USB option that you need to pick. So you need to basically pick the device which contain your Windows 10 or other operating system ISO file with the bootable data on it. So in my case, I'm gonna select this one. And your computer will reboot and you will get press any key to boot from CD. And make sure you press a bu that button so that it will boot with the CD. And it will get you to the Windows setup uh, screen. In this setup, we're going to keep it as English and we're going to press next. Install now. I'm installing this as a trial version, so I'm going to click I don't have a product key. If you do have a product key, make sure you enter that in here. And I'll be installing the Windows 10 Pro. Click next. Accept license. And in here, it is important that you pick the option called custom install Windows only advanced option. Do not pick the upgrade option because if you pick the upgrade option, it might actually erase your uh, Windows 11 uh, installation currently running. So we're gonna pick the option called custom install Windows only advanced option. And in here, you will see different partitions. You'll see a partition with 55.3 gigabyte. You see also a partition with 43.9 gigabyte. Remember, I have conveniently named that 43.9 gigabyte of new partition as Win 10. So it's easy for me to pick up. So I'm gonna pick that option. And I'm gonna click format, say okay. So it's formatted to that now and make sure you select that partition and click next. And this will install Windows 10 on that second partition while keeping all the files, configurations and operating system on Windows 11 on the first partition.
it will reboot when it is needed to be rebooted during the installation process. And finally, once it's rebooted, it'll give you the option to either log in to Windows 10 or Windows 11. So make sure you're on the Windows 10 because we need to complete the installation process. If you don't press anything, it should automatically select Windows 10 because the system should know that Windows 10 needs to be configured. Again, you will come back to the same screen, choose the operating system. Make sure you pick the Windows 10 for now. You may get that screen multiple times. And each time it comes to that screen, make sure you keep clicking Windows 10 until the Windows 10 installation process is completed. Hi there, I'm Cortana, and I'm here to help. A little sign in here, a touch of Wi-Fi there, and we'll have your PC ready for all you plan to do. Use your voice or the keyboard along the way, and if you'd like me to stay quiet, just select the little microphone icon towards the bottom of your screen. If you need an assistive screen reader, press the Windows, Control, and S. So finally, we are in the setup screen for uh, the Windows uh, 10 environment. I'm going to select United States. I'm going to say yes. So I'm basically going through the basic setup. And I, most, I will most likely fast forward this part. This is just like setting up any other computer. Finally, we have Windows uh, 10 uh, installed. Uh, the graphic looks weird because I had to install the graphic drivers properly so that it'll be good to go. So um, this is Windows 10. So how, you might ask, how do I get into Windows 11 now? So if you go to Start menu, and if I simply uh, restart uh, this machine, or just uh, simply shut down, when you boot back up, it should give you the option to choose between Windows 10 and Windows 11. So I'm just simply booting up the computer. So when you turn your computer on, now you have the option to either go with Windows 10 or Windows 11. So this is a dual boot system. So if you want to pick Windows 11, you can click on Windows 11. and it will boot into your Windows 11 environment. I mean, your Windows 11 operating system. And if you go into your disk and you still see your Windows C, which is your drive for your Windows 11. So yeah, Windows 11. And then the E drive is for Windows uh, 10. So if you want to load into the E drive, which is the Windows 10, uh, all you need to do is again in here, you can uh, restart or shut down and reboot. And once you restart, you'll get the option to pick the operating system. So I will pick Windows 10 this time. There you go, your Windows 10 works. And again, the graphic drivers needs to be updated. That's why it looks really weird. But uh, now you have Windows 10 and Windows 11 on dual boot uh, system. So that's everything. And have a nice day.